see. Lotus. Yeah, and things happening so quickly here at McCormick Place. We were actually standing outside of the Women's Caucus when a group of protesters had to be escorted out. I actually, I think we've been able to turn this video around for you fairly quickly. Uh, take a look here. These protesters uh, were here as VP nominee Tim Walls was in the middle of his remarks when they interrupted him. They were eventually, as I mentioned, escorted out of McCormick Place by security fairly quickly. That happened within the Good five minute period. They were trying to bring attention to the war in Gaza. Meanwhile, Walls attended the Women's Caucus and praised not just President Biden for his remarks last night, but Hillary Clinton as well. He wanted the women here to understand that their work matters. If you didn't leave there appreciating it, if you didn't leave there understanding what she did, and if you didn't leave there, and I, I, I'm guilty of this, imagining how different things could have been in 2016 had we got the work done. Well, here's the good news. We're not going to make that mistake again. No. And again, to go back to those protesters that were here inside the Women's Caucus as they were having uh, their meeting, it doesn't look like anyone was hurt. It was not violent. Uh, they did uh, speak loudly, and obviously you could hear them at the convention, but they were escorted fairly quickly. As far as what happens throughout the rest of the afternoon, what happens tonight, uh, the keynote address is expected to be given by former President Barack Obama. We are told Kamala Harris will be in Milwaukee for a rally this afternoon. It is not clear, though, yet if she will make it back in time for his remarks. Reporting live from McCormick Place, Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.